Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 5-1, Using Patterns to Divide. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote today is by General George S. Patton, who was a military leader during World War II. He says, accept the challenges so that you may feel the exhilaration of victory. And I hope you feel the exhilaration of victory as you battle with the zeros, as you are dividing multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000 by two or more digits. So don't forget, we're going to use a battle of the zeros strategy. Our individual lesson learning goals are to use mental math skills and estimation to divide, and we're going to use the battle of the zero strategy to make division easier. So, and that picture up in the right is of General Patton pinning a silver star on Private Ernest Jenkins, who um, had for conspicuous gallantry during the war in France. And so I thought that was a really neat picture. Um, I'm hoping you will work really hard to earn lots of, to have, to have lots of accomplishments in math too. Here is our first example. We're going to use the battle of the zeros strategy to divide 6,300 by 70. Um, you see that picture of General Patton when he was about your age. And that's General Patton in the Olympics when he was younger. He competed in like five different events, swimming and archery and cross country. So I thought that was kind of cool. He's a pretty well-rounded guy. A little bit arrogant, but well-rounded. Let's go ahead and see how we did this. So here's how we do the battle of the zeros. We go ahead and write the problem out just like we usually would with mental math. And then we still underline our non-zero digits, so 63 and 7, and we go ahead and divide those. 63 divided by 7 is 9, because 9 times 7 is 63. Now, in division, it's a little bit different. If we have zeros on both sides of the division symbol, we have to use the battle of the zero strategy. And what that means is, when this group of soldiers goes to war against this group of soldiers, this guy is going to capture this guy. So they are no longer part of the answer. So then you only have one zero left to get knighted. There he is. He's going to get knighted at the end. So now our answer is 90. So anytime you're doing the battle of the zeros, if you have zeros on both sides, you have to cross off one here for every one you cross off here. If I had two zeros here, I'll just show you this, then I would have crossed off also this zero and this zero, which meant I would have had no zeros to write over here. So 6,300 divided by 700 would be 9. So every time I cross a zero off on one side, I have to cross it off on the other side. So here is our first practice problem. 56,000 divided by 800. So Write that down in your journal and use the battle of the zero strategy to figure it out and push play when you are ready. Did you write 70? Let's see how you did that. So here is our problem written out mental math style and we're going to underline our non-zero digits which we're going to say are our royalty like our kings and queens and stuff. So those guys we're going to divide first. 56 divided by 8 is 7 because 7 times 8 is 56. And then our soldiers are going to go to battle against each other. So this guy is going to capture this guy. And this guy is going to capture this guy. And there's only one guy left to be knighted that didn't get captured. So we are going to write him over here with the royal family. So our answer is 70. 2. 8,000 divided by 10. Use the battle of the zero strategy and push play when you're ready. Did you write 800? Let's see how we worked that one. So we're going to underline all of our non-zero digits, which are 8 and 1. Those are our royalty. And then our soldiers are going to go to battle. And this guy captures this guy. Well, we forgot to write our 8 divided by 1 is 8, didn't we? That's a pretty easy problem that we forgot to do. I guess I'm going to owe you a push-up. So now we have two zeros left that didn't get captured. So they're going to be knighted, and they'll be over here with the royal family now. 800. 21,000 divided by something equals 700. Hmm, that's a little tricky. Write that out so you can figure out that one. Then push play when you're ready. Did you write 30? 21,000 divided by 30 equals 700. Let's see how we worked that. So when I'm trying to figure out what 21,000 divided by something equals 700, 
I know that whatever that is, I could switch these two numbers around to find the answer. So I'm going to rewrite it as 21,000 divided by 700 equals my answer over here. So I'll underline my non-zero digits. There's my royalty. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And my zeros are going to go to battle. Now this makes sense that we're crossing out some of these zeros. I want you to think about this. Whenever we divide, our answer should be smaller than our first number here. And if I divided 21 divided by 7, but then added all those zeros, my number would be as big or bigger. So I don't want to add these zeros together. I want to divide them essentially. But I'm going to do that by going to battle. So this guy captures this guy and this guy captures this guy. So I have one guy left to be knighted and added to the royal family, 30. So then I could come back up here and write 21,000 divided by 30 equals 700. If we use mental math to check that, three times seven is 21. And then I add up my three zeros and that gives me my original answer. So here's our practice word problem. General Patton had 350,000 men under his command during the Battle of the Zeros. Hmm. If he needed to assign an equal number of soldiers to 50 different locations, how many soldiers were stationed at each location? We're obviously going to divide that group of men up into different stations, so let's use our mental math strategy, Battle of the Zeros, to figure that out and push play when you're ready. Did you write 7,000? Let's see how we did that one. So 350,000 divided by 50. We'll underline our non-zero digits. 35 divided by 5 is 7 because 7 times 5 is 35. And then we're going to go to battle. This guy captures this guy. Wow, that's all I can cross off because I only have one zero here. So I have to count one, two, three zeros are left. And we're going to add those soldiers over here and knight them. So our answer is 7,000. It's time to challenge yourself. There's General Patton and some of his soldiers. So here is our question. Eagle Glen students are giving a Thanksgiving performance for General Patton's soldiers. There will be 20 performances. If Eagle Glen makes 6,000 programs in all, will they have enough programs at each performance for each of the 400 soldiers who attend each performance to get a program? If not, how many additional programs will need to be made? Write your answer in your flip journal and show your work. Come back tomorrow and check your answer. Finishing up. I put a picture of General Patton over there with his dog, Willie. He, Willie's in a lot of pictures with General Patton. And on the left is a picture of Willie after General Patton was killed in an automobile accident. You can see him laying right there by, his, by, by General Patton's stuff. So. It's kind of neat to see the relationship between the dog and his owner. Go ahead and review your learning goals. Have you mastered all of them? Do you need to watch some of it again? Are you at a level one, two, or three in your learning? In your flip journal, write down any questions that you might still have. And hopefully you're feeling very victorious. You have completed lesson 5-1 using patterns to divide. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.